Well, we have an update from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Media and a look at a new logo that was shared online. Now, the logo itself is interesting and we will break it down, but fan speculation on how it's written has delved us into some new and interesting territory. Let's take a couple minutes to look at the logo and see if it actually relates to another well-known franchise. Now, before we dive in though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring our bell for all the updates. Also, the huge giveaway. We're going to give away this PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you need to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. And while you're at it, check out that Buy Me A Comic link down below. It's a pretty cool way to support this channel with a tiny bit of pocket change, all while creating zero new obligations for yourself. We really appreciate it. Well, if you didn't know, production of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania has been going on for a couple of weeks. And in the last couple of days, we actually got a pretty interesting behind the scenes photo that revealed an updated title treatment for the third film in the Marvel franchise. Now, let's go ahead and check that out. So this was spotted on the back of a chair, and it is a rather strange new logo. If you already knew the movie was called Quantum Media, clearly the subtitle spells that out. But the lettering itself is almost completely indecipherable, and does remind me of some other things. Now, we do know that the quantum realm will factor huge in this, so many people are speculating if this could be written in the language of the microverse. But there have been some comparisons to another well-known franchise. Let's check this out. Now, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you might recognize this. This is Gallifreyan, and I don't think it's an accident that they are very similar. Or at least somewhat of a variation or similar to that language. Maybe just inspired by. We know Kang is a time-traveling villain, and Marvel may be leaning a little bit on that mythos to kind of give it a little bit of a nudge. Now, I don't think this is a full-on Doctor Who Marvel crossover. Although, interestingly enough, in the past, Marvel has had Doctor Who comics, and I actually don't have any idea if Marvel would have the right to use the language, but it could get fans pretty excited and make for an interesting tie-in. Now, we don't really have any idea where this actually is going. We do know Kang is a big part of the film, and it would be pretty weird if time travel somehow didn't take part in this. We know the Quantum Realm was big in the Avengers for their time travel capabilities. So if Scott Lang and crew are taking a journey through the Quantum Realm, it's very likely we will see some sort of time travel shenanigans. Now, we're not going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania for quite a long time. It won't hit theaters until September 17th of 2023. Remember, it was recently moved. But I do find this all interesting, and the expansion of the Marvel Universe into the Quantum Realm even further will only bring new and more exciting details to the forefront. One of the more interesting rumors that has been floating around is Corey Stoll will return as Yellow Jacket in this movie. Remember, he was sucked into the Quantum Realm at the end of Ant-Man, so this would make for an interesting return and really wouldn't be too far of a stretch. I guess my only question is, does he still only have one arm? So what do you guys think? How do you like this new font for Quantum Mania? And does it totally remind you of the Doctor Who Gallifreyan language? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not going to get any updates. Peace.